hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is cops if you're new here hi so i assure you if you stick to the end of this video you've been making just by making instagram photos with zero cost so i'll start the video in two parts the first part is me making the filter and the second part is me showing you how you can make money from making a filter i'm about to make a filter so i'll take you through the steps and it's very easy before you can make a filter you need the instagram or facebook app called spark air and the link to it will be in my description you will also need Adobe Photoshop, any 3D app of your choice, but I prefer Cinema 4D because like the interface is more easier and like easier to use than render or like the other ones. I know you don't understand this, but if you do, in some cases you might need Adobe After Effects if you want to make any animated sequence. For the purpose of this video, it's make it easy for you to make Instagram for this. We're going to use the first two apps, that's the Spark AI and Adobe Photoshop to make a simple 2D Instagram photo just to make it easy for you to make money while I was making this yeah I almost forgot you also need the Spark AI reference images which will be in the description where you find the Spark AI site on the bit of this I'm planning on having a full on course about like making Instagram photos in the future but before you can make anything you need to have an idea of what you want to make I'll be recreating this look and like, I'm not trying to like steal someone's hard work Picasso said good artists copy but great artists steal the first thing I'll normally do is open Photoshop look at the reference emerging Photoshop create well when you're creating uh, the reference you need it to be as you need it to be a square so you put in 200 200 by 200 sorry 2000 then the resolution is probably if i make it 1440p because that's the highest i think it could go Yeah, that's how I was creating my joker look and my thumbnails. I make my thumbnails and everything. So now you go to the reference image. Sorry, the reference image. The reference image you get from the Spark Arrow site. You will go to textures and then you choose from whether you want a male or a female, but I'm using a female. You drag that into Photoshop. and you also need the guideline up which is this which is face mesh track 5 face mesh track so I don't actually know what I'm saying then you put that one thing on enter so now you look at the how we want it to look what we what we be taking from this so I'll take new layer then I already have a custom font which looks like it looks like this. So I'm actually I actually don't know. I think I'll just write letters alphabet equal to Y H yeah those things. That's exactly what I'm going to write. So yeah. New layer to stand this off. Zoom closer. Then hit T for text and then you come in the face I'm done. It didn't, I thought the font would look exactly like this, but it didn't. It looked like some Chinese words, and I'm okay with it. And I want to. The next thing I want to do is get the those like red on her eyes to here and the right here. Like recreate that in Photoshop. So go back to Photoshop here. The layer we created, you just name it. Um, what's my name? Just say makeup. Makeup. Then I'll reduce 
since it was around here, we take the brush and then we increase the size a little. and turn the photo into a filter now once you are done opening the spot area up today you need to create project then you get this where you can do this the first thing you do is add a face tracker the second the second thing you do is add a 3d mesh then you import the the thing you just made from photoshop that's the face for this one. Okay, then you go this the thing you created and this is the face mesh. So sorry. You go into the face mesh, you add material, and the material you double click the material, you go to textures, then you add your face with and then voila! You're done with this. That is the symbol. But I want to make it better, so I'll keep on. Let's change the face of the person. Let's try this. It has, it has a little bit of code you know, if you want to make anything like change or something but we are not going to do this is a simple thing camera on my laptop sucks so we will have to like demonstrate it so you can see as I said the camera on my laptop sucks but it looks okay we'll I'll show you the uh, I'll show you a proponent of it on my phone when I connect okay that is that is actually good you see, I took something that I got inspired from and I made it, to my opinion, better. So yeah, save your file. I'll call this, um, let's say, um, font felt. Now save this. Then you export the sequence. And the the big once you're exporting, you see that all the 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 numbers are green. Otherwise, you can't you won't be able to submit it to Instagram. So here, export, save, and then here that's the new this one that I just made. And then they ask you your project is exported, upload to Instagram. Then that's that, that's when you upload it to Instagram, and then 
you do the next step from there so now you're done making an instagram photo how do you monetize it well there are two ways on how you can make money by making instagram photos the first one is by making for brands and the second one is by making for events for brands you need to have a collection of like instagram photos like for a resume then you email the of your choice which you want to make instagram photos for then when they reach out to you with events it's kind of similar to the snapchat location type meaning like you contact the organizers of an event you tell them you want to make an instagram photo for them they you said it to disappear once the event is over then they pay you check out my instagram to see how i created my joker look and check out my last video stop comparing yourself to others like comment subscribe and see you in the next